Okay, I'm going to break down my uh, survival stick. I don't know if you can see the whole thing, but uh, this is a, a two-foot piece of PVC from here to here, two-foot piece of PVC from here to here, and one-foot piece from here to here. Each section is removable from the other, and I'll take each piece individually. The whole thing's about uh, uh, five feet tall, just enough to block your eyes if you're using it for a uh, walking stick. The whole thing weighs about three pounds with all the stuff inside of it. I got, uh, uh, I'm not sure how many feet of rope is here. Uh, this is probably about uh, um, 25 feet, I think. Maybe, yeah, 25 feet. All right. <clears throat> the very first thing, the, the top section has, uh, has a couple of uses. I have some snare wire on the bottom. I have fishing line here held on by rubber band, which you can just simply... Take that uh, uh, top piece off, hook your fishing your your fishing line to it, and then cast it out, and then just you know use this as a winding stick like that. All right, um, the very first thing that was in there is uh, uh, fire uh, making kit. Uh, I, in here, uh, I have uh, a, there's a, a magnesium or spark thing on the bottom. I got a cutting tool, I got some uh, uh, safety pins, some fish hooks, some sinkers, uh, a little hacksaw blade, um, some char cloth, all of those things, items are in there. I also have a, uh, a little uh, neon glow stick. Um, I like to use them for night fishing. I just threw it in there. There's a lot more room to fit some stuff in there if needed be. Um, next item in here is uh, this is another little fishing kit. <clears throat> it's just a little uh, pill bottle. And in here is, is more fishing items. I have actually some hooks in here. Some straight pins, um, which can be bent into a hook if you had a multi-tool. Um, I got safety pins and such in here, which can be used to make eyelets. Uh, this actually, I've uh, taken this with a rubber band and a stick. <clears throat> Let me see if I can replicate a stick that you might find in the woods real quick. This is uh, my, of my sling bow. So you would, uh, you'd find yourself a stick in the woods. You could make a fishing pole uh, by lashing on a couple of the safety pins, you know, here and here. And then you would use a rubber band to attach this down here. And then bing, you got a fishing pole that's actually will cast. You could cast this thing pretty far. Uh, a little more difficult to wind it up, when, uh, but you could hold it in your hand like so, and then run. That's lots of different things you can do. Anyway, another fishing kit. <clears throat> uh, also a waterproof vessel there. Okay, next item. Piece of cork. You can use it for bobber. Uh, I don't know if that's really a necessary item, but I threw it in there. Uh, whistle for uh, signaling. Uh, lighter. Um, a lot of people try the hard way, hard method to make fires all the time, but why not carry a lighter with you? I have three uh, AAA batteries in here. Uh, that is for something that's in the next section. I got a flashlight down on the bottom of that. The other thing is, is that this is uh, this has a bottom in it, so you could actually fill this with water, use it as a reservoir if needed. Okay, I won't put it all back together to save time. I'll just continue on to the next piece. Okay, this, uh, I, I put this on there because I have, there's a compass, uh, it's nice to know what the time is, um, there's a, um, a lot of cordage there, um, I made that, now watch band. Okay, first item in the, uh, in here, let me take this off, it'll be easier to, uh, First item in here is a knife. You got to have a cutting tool of some sort, and I went ahead and threw a uh, a multi-type uh, Swiss Army knife in there. Um, not that you're going to need a corkscrew out in the wilderness, but there's that. Uh, okay, batteries. I have more batteries. Um, this is uh, this is you'll see what this is makes things nice to pull it all out. I have a container. Okay, this container is a um, it's a it's a it's an oven bag. You cook a, a roast in, 
and uh, with these bags you can they're, they're durable they're strong you can they, they can withstand a lot of heat um, you could uh, uh, put the water in this put it near a fire and uh, sterilize some drinking water if you needed to um, hot glue you know, handy stuff for as much room as it takes there's sewing uh, thread this is uh, I don't I, I carry the uh, upholstery thread it's much stronger and a, uh, a nail nails are very handy um, I have super glue super glue can super glue together your skin if you cut it it can fix a piece of broken um, equipment if need be uh, I have another I have another pill bottle here and this is uh, it's got more more fishing stuff in it <clears throat> you can put in in these things whatever you want whatever is whatever you feel you're gonna need to take out there with you and a flashlight and um, I had I put it in, uh, in another kit but I had uh, uh, drinking water or sterilization tablets uh, a two-part system in there uh, prior to this I, uh, I keep changing it around uh, it's, it's evolves as as uh, as needed um, <clears throat> one function of this is uh, I put also I put graphite on the threads so it's uh, it would screw together good and come apart easy without the threads getting stuck okay this is uh, this can be a shoulder strap okay when it's all put together you can have you can have it at this length so that it's nice and tight you can take off one and stretch it out so you got it at this length you could take this off and connect it here so you have a longer length and you take it off one more time and you could have it's a little tangle up here <clears throat> have it at that length uh, which, which is actually the, the ideal for throwing it over your shoulder and walking with it if you were doing some climbing or something um, uh, the other thing is, is if you you have a ready-made bowstring if you were um, going to make a real quick uh, survival bow maybe out of like some you know three twigs uh, three uh, three sticks and lash them together you have everything ready to go quickly. Um, this is 75 feet of paracord, endless uses. So there's that piece. Um, the, bat, the very bottom piece, I've, uh, I've, uh, I've been working trying to figure out exactly what I wanted to do with this bottom section and uh, currently it is set up with the blow dart system. Now I'm going to show you this bottom piece and how it's constructed. This bottom piece keeps getting on there pretty good. You don't really want to lose that while you're up tromping in the woods. This bottom section is, uh, no, this is one inch PVC, by the way. Inside of here is a um, half inch threaded EMT coupling that's inside of here. And that's epoxied in with uh, like JV Weld. And then, and then a half inch galvanized plug so it doesn't rust. One thing you could do with this, because this is removable, you can drill a hole. Well, first take a, take a grinder and grind a, uh, a slit in this. And then drill a hole this direction. And then you could insert uh, a Sawzall blade. Um, you, could, you could attach several different attachments to this with a pin. And then, you know, for example, if it was a sawzall blade with the entire thing put together and it's uh, with the, you know, the three pieces in its entirety, you got five feet long. You could reach up and you could cut, you could cut limbs. Um, you could do lots of different things. You could, um, you could have a, a spear head in here so that when you take it out, you want to thread this like I'm about to do. And uh, then you have a, you know, 
you could spear for some fish or something. Okay, so what I have it set up as right now is a blow dart, like I said. So all of that comes out, and this screws in here. Insert a blow dart, which is a skewer with a feet with a uh, um, uh, wire nut. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and find a target real quick. Okay, so here's the blow dart. And pow, you could get yourself a squirrel, a rabbit, a bird, whatever, a chipmunk. I'll, uh, I'll see if I can make some sort of accuracy out of it. And I will shoot the very center of the, uh, of the black square, or rectangle. Pretty close. All right, so that's that. I don't know if that's the uh, if that's what I really want to keep in there for ever and always because it's a lot of space that might be uh, that might be a waste of space. But it's to each is their own. This is a uh, CPVC uh, half inch CP CPVC with with a uh, nail adapter screwed into the end of there. That is. Uh, the conclusion that will conclude the uh, breakdown of the walking stick. Um, the only thing I could add to that is that uh, I forgot to mention that the center section is also has a bottom in it and can be used as a water vessel, which will hold more than a liter of water. And uh, um, you could. Uh, there's endless uses for endless. You could, if you, for example, uh, water purification. Maybe you didn't want to put fishing in there, but you wanted to put some 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 coal and, and, and cloth and things to uh, make a water purifier. Uh, you could do that as well. You could make a smaller one out of out of a smaller tube, make a pre-made one and stick it in there. Um, you could um, you could make a fire piston like I did. I did this in a previous video. Um, you can make a, a, a fire piston, perhaps out of a smaller diameter uh, pipe, and you can store that in there. You just all sorts of different options you could go with. But that is the walking stick. Thanks for watching.